Hello, I'm Ben Brain. In this video lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own planet. Okay, so let's get started, and I'm going to go to my before image, and here you can see I have a texture. Funnily enough, this is just the inside of a roasting tin. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select the elliptical marquee tool from the tools palette on the left hand side here. And I'm just going to mark out a circular area. If you hold down the shift key while you're doing that, you can ensure that you're selecting a perfect circle. So let's just get a bit of that nice grease over there, as I'm sure that'll be great for our planet texture. OK, so we've got a perfect circle there. Let's just go Control C to copy. And now I'm just going to create a new document. So just go up to New. And I'm going to set this so it's about 4,000 pixels uh, by about 4,000 pixels. Just do that for 300. Let's just set our background color to black. So our background color, you can see our background color down here is black. OK, RGB and 8-bit should be good. Let's press OK. And now let's just paste, copy, control, V, our selection into our new document. You can see what we're doing. Let's just get the layers panel up, up to window layers panel. Let's just press the F key just to rearrange whoops, our workspace so we can see what's going on. OK, first thing I need to do is to just make another couple of layers and um, some selections. So let's just do the selection first. I'm going to pick the magic wand tool from the tools panel, make a selection of the black area there, and I'm just going to inverse that selection so we've just got the circle there. Let's go down to create a new layer. It's layer 2. I'm just going to name that now as good practice. Let's get that the right way around. This is going to be our atmosphere layer, so let's just type that in there. Let's go to Fill, and we want to set that to a color. A little bit, something around about there is going to work OK. Let's click OK, click OK, and here we have a circular blue circle. Now we need to just repeat the same. This time we're going to call it Shadow. And again, over to Fill. And this time I need it set to black. So just down on the drop down menu there. And here we go. See, we have our black shadow layer. Now I'm going to hide this for the moment and I'm going to hide this too. And I'm just going to do a little bit of work on our textured layer. So keeping the selection there, I'm going to go to Filter and I'm going to go to Distort and Spherize. And let's keep that cranked all the way up to 100%. And click OK. And then you can see if I just toggle Control Z on and off the last effect, you can just see what we've done, giving a more globe-like feel to our greasy roasting tin. OK, so let's just do a little bit of work on the atmosphere. So let's just highlight this layer. And to do this, we're really going to get to grips with layer styles. So up to layer, layer style. And let's start with a spot of inner shadow. Let's change our blend mode to screen. Let's just change our color here to a lightish blue to go with our atmosphere. And let's just crank this distance up to about 90. The size to about 250 and the opacity to 100. OK, now we're going to just do a little bit of work on the outer glow. And let's just again select a, another light blue color. You can see we're screen mode. Let's change the opacity to 100%. And the size I'm going to change to about 130. And that's looking good. And now in a glow, this is the last of the layer styles. And you can see how our, our Planet is just beginning to take shape. Again, screen mode, light blue color, opacity 100%. And let's set the size, let's crank it all the way we can to about 250. And let's click OK. Now you can see here that you have your layer effects, that uh, layer styles that are associated with this layer just below here. And a little bit like adjustment layers, these are totally re-editable. So just a little click, go back and change them if you want to. Um, just quite a good little effect. 
Okay, now I am just going to, let's just turn that off so we can just do a little bit of work on here. Now this next step you don't have to do, it's a little subjective, but it looks quite good, especially for a lunary type landscape. So let's go to Stylize, Emboss, and you can see I've just got some settings here. You can crank this either way, but I want to get a nice little bit of sort of 3D texture onto the surface of my moon. So I'm going to keep those settings the same and just move the amount to about 160. Click OK. Then I'm going to go back up to this layer, activate that, and I'm just going to change the fill. And I'm going to bring that down to about 20%. So you can just see that we're beginning to get that sort of nice globe-like effect there with the atmosphere coming around the edge of the globe. Okay, for last effects, what I'm going to do is just highlight our top layer named Shadow, activate that, and you can see that in itself gives quite a nice eclipse effect. What I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to add a blur, so a blur, Gaussian blur, and let's enter about, I think about, let's say 75. 75 should do it. Let's just type that in manually if you can't do that. And now it's just a question of going to the free transform tool. So we can go control T to activate that. And you can see we have these grabbers here. And now we can just grab the bottom one. Hold down shift so it's regular. And then you can see that we start to get our eclipse. So let's double click on that and it's looking great. Let's zoom in and you can just see the texture coming through there and then you can add this to your space scene. So of course it is totally re-editable so you can change all these colors um, but it's a really good especially if you're into your sci-fi space scenes.